humans versus robots. As technology develops, many of us know that the future of many of our jobs could be automation, maybe artificial intelligence. Well, one lawmaker has a plan to offset the potential threat of job killing robots, and that is taxes. San Francisco supervisor Jane Kim has just launched an initiative called the Jobs of the Future Fund to potentially tax businesses in California that replace humans with robots. I FaceTime with her tonight. Take a listen. We are exploring ways of implementing a payroll tax, which already exists on jobs operated by humans, and continuing them if those jobs are then displaced by robots or algorithms or automation. And, you know, Amazon, for instance, they use a lot of robots, drones, automation. Is So would that be a company, for instance, that you would say should have a tax? Absolutely. So any companies that are replacing humans um, with robots, algorithms, or art automation um, should contribute um, and give back. Now, the exact amount that these businesses would get taxed has not yet been announced, but she did say that the money the state got from these taxes would go to retraining and educational programs for people displaced by robots. So the big question is, while the idea and the motive behind this makes sense, is this really the way to go about it? I met up with a local economist tonight. I threw the idea by him. He said definitely not. We are the leaders in innovation. Right. If you start taxing businesses for the use of robots and artificial intelligence, you're not just going to drive them out from the state. You're going to actually probably make it a huge disincentive for them to want to be anywhere in the state of California mm -hmm. because they can find other uh, parts of the country and other parts of the world where they don't have to pay such a tax. Now, I should point out that earlier this year, Bill Gates also called for a so-called robot tax. It drew similar skepticism from economists. But Supervisor Kim says that there's no evidence that taxes hurt business. So she plans to move forward with this initiative and hopes that sometime in the near future, the California state legislature takes up this issue. So what do you think about it? Let me know on my Facebook page.